Today I'll be demonstrating uh, the process of converting a DXF file into a G-code file while at the same time also correcting for some inconsistencies when it comes to scaling. Sometimes we have some DXF files that uh, are, have units or scales that are a little bit off. So I'll show you how to fix that before converting today. So let's go ahead and open up a sample file that I have here. It's of a little laser cut. Uh, phone stand that also doubles as a ruler. Um, with this particular file, we have some dimension lines here, which I want to erase because I don't want to include that in the final G code file. So I'm going to go ahead and click the erase tool here on the left and then click and drag. Just erase the part so we don't want to keep. Um, clean it up a little bit. Um, this particular one, I'm not going to erase the whole thing, um, and I'll explain why in a bit. Uh, but the next um, part of this process is to uh, click on File here. Oh, rather, yeah, File, and then click on Scale Options under File. And then uh, for this particular method, you're going to want to click on Measure here. Now, the reason why... I didn't erase this particular line, particular line is because I know for a fact that the um, height of this object is exactly two inches. So this dimension line that indicates the height of the object, uh, I also know is uh, going to be exactly two inches. We're going to use that as a reference point to set the scale right. Uh, what you want to do is click on calibrate here, and I'm going to click on snap to endpoints. And I'm going to measure this reference line that we left unerased. I'm going to click on the endpoint as close as I can. It's going to snap automatically because we have snapped the endpoints tick there. I'm going to click and then drag to the other end and then let go of the mouse. And then we're going to go back to this over here. Right now, it's set, it's set to 6 um, 6.6666 inches. We want to turn that into 2 inches, like I mentioned before, because we know for a fact that the height of this object is 2 inches, so this line is supposed to be 2 inches as well. Right now, it's 6.6 um, 6 bar inches. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to drag there and make it 2, and then I'm going to click on Apply. So now the scale of the whole um, file has been corrected. Um, you can also choose between other units here if you want to use pixels, uh, feet, yards, uh, or any uh, of the meters here. You can do so as well. Um, orthogonal snap also just makes it so that if you're clicking and dragging, it uh, snaps to the X and Y axes by default. Um, so you can choose uh, any of those options if those suit your particular uh, file. Um, but once you're done converting, uh, I'm going to go ahead and erase this reference line because we don't need that anymore. Um, and then you just have to click on Export on the upper right. Choose the file format we want to use. There are three options for G-Code. It's .cnc, .nc, or .tap. I'm just going to go ahead and click on .cnc, but feel free to choose which one is um, suitable for your case. And then we name it whatever we want to name it. Uh, scaled phone stand for this one and then just click on save there are a couple of cnc export options as well you can tweak those uh, as you wish but i'm going to leave them in the default settings i'm just going to click on ok that's the whole process it should set the, the scale right and it should convert the dxf file into a usable g-code file